the ASM criteria. In this lesson you're going to learn what the ASM criteria are and why they are so important to the whole product selection process. The key to profitable products. The ASM criteria have been continually evaluated and improved over the last few years. These improvements have been made possible by our own experience and those of our mentors and members. This gives us a huge amount of data to work with. These criteria are up to date and invaluable in your search for profitable products. Bestsellers rank, also known as bestseller ranking. We've discussed BSR before and remember it only applies to top level categories. We use BSR ranges to determine the products that are viable in each category. This is because each category varies in both demand and competition. You can download these BSR ranges below this lesson. BSR ranges do vary depending on the category. Larger, more in-demand categories, like home and kitchen, will have a much wider range. Importantly, choosing a product near the top of the range, i.e. a lower BSR number, will mean more sales. However, it also means more competition. So, to a certain extent, it is a trade-off. Now, you will also use BSR ranges for the two competing products. And in some cases, these ranges are a little wider. This is because the demand does not have to be quite as high as that of primary products. If you stick to the BSR ranges, your product choice will have enough demand and a level of competition that you can compete with. Price range. Price range we recommend is $19 to $70. This is the price the product actually sells for on Amazon. There are advantages and disadvantages to choosing a higher or lower price. A higher price, in other words $60, might mean a higher profit margin, but will generally cost you more for inventory. A lower price, like $19 or $20, can mean a lower profit margin, but make it much cheaper for your first inventory order. Weight and size. Product weight and size are very important. Heavier and larger products will cost you more to ship. Now your first shipment is probably going to be by air to enable you to get to market as soon as possible. So this can be expensive with heavy, larger products. Mike will be covering this in a lot more detail in Module 2. Size is difficult to give exact dimensions for. Generally speaking, the smaller the better. Amazon do have an oversized limit. You should definitely never get near this. That oversized limit is 18 inches on its longer side, 14 inches on its median size, and 8 inches on its shortest side. Weight. For your first product, we recommend you look for products up to a maximum weight of 3 pounds. In the past, we actually recommended a pound and under. This was to ensure your first product could be shipped by air. However, in Module 2, you will be learning how to ship part of your inventory by air and the rest by sea. This means you can still get to market fast and still save money on your shipping. Weight and profit margin. Profit margin is a very important consideration. Remember, the heavier and larger a product is, the higher the shipping costs will be. So if you do find a product near the three pound mark, then make sure your profit margin does not get eaten up by the cost. Again, don't worry, you will learn everything you need to know about this in the next module. Reviews. The number of reviews of the primary and competing products are important. It gives you an idea of how easy or hard it might be to compete with other products. Reviews really do come into their own when we narrow down our list of hot opportunities. However, it is something we do need to watch when building our list of products as you will see. Generally speaking, 1 to 100 reviews, we consider low competition. 101 to 500 reviews, moderate competition. And 501 to 1000 reviews, high competition. And finally, 1001 plus ultra high competition. Now these numbers are a general rule of thumb. And remember, we do not have to beat the number one product. Being second or third or fourth or fifth in fact, even just being on the first page can mean that our product will be profitable. And let's take a closer look at that. So, for instance, if the primary product has 1100 reviews and the two competing products have 110 and 230 respectively, then this would be a viable option. Because although it might be difficult, but not impossible, to beat the primary product's 1100 reviews, beating the second and third product at 110 and 230 
is going to be relatively easy as long as our product is of high quality. Primary product has 620 reviews and the two competing ones have 421 and 331 respectively. This is viable. While the primary is still considered high competition, it's not ultra high, and the two competing products are in the moderate range. So again, it's viable. Potentially we could beat the primary, but we could certainly beat the two competing products. The primary is 1250 and the two competing products are 1110 and 1030 respectively. This is probably not going to be viable and is a product I would avoid because all three are ultra competitive, which points to that product being a highly competitive product. Primary 120, competing 98 and 106 respectively. This is definitely viable. If you see this kind of opportunity, then you should jump on it. Now these are just a few examples and we will find others as we start the selection process and especially when we get to narrowing down our list. Going outside the criteria. We created the ASM criteria for a reason. They work. Now obviously you can choose to go outside the criteria. However, we strongly recommend you stick to all our criteria, especially for your first product. Ignoring the criteria could mean you end up with a product that has too much competition, not enough sales, or a non-existent profit margin. So what's next? So now you have learned what the ASM criteria are. In the next lesson, you're going to learn about the tools we use to speed up the product selection process. Action step, download and print the BSR ranges and keep them next to your computer. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.